have have had bands coming in mothership again from anti-freak side and we have a splitter and demolish on j side and again the iron strike so the only thing changed as opposed to last game was uh, a different uh, the the splitter was different we uh, i don't know what we had uh, instead of the splitter i would have to look that up again um but so far interesting interesting so we have uh Antifreak seems to be uh changing his uh changing his uh, build a lot he's going for uh three towers so far the heat ray again and the repeater on j side those this worked out very well for him uh, last game so uh, it makes sense for it for him to pick it again and uh, we have stingers and rockets but still no minion for anti-freak four towers uh, that is very interesting he, he's he's got to pick a minion now um, there's basically nothing else you uh, he can do now instead of that he's going for the tank bomb yeah it's probably an interesting 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 build um, both are uh, the tower four towers and the tank the funny thing is it's it's <laughs> exactly the other way around now um, Jay is going for two towers and three minions Whereas um, at Freak's going for four towers and one minion, and very nice, uh, very nice move uh, by Jay to uh, get the the shield uh, to take the shield away from Anti Freak, uh, as it's such a nice counter to to the rockets. The funny thing is, uh, most of the picks uh, just changed si switch sides. Uh, we we don't see many new. Uh, new uh, units apart from the hammerhead uh, and saw blade for example uh, but all the other ones just change sides very nice we're up for for game two now uh jay is ahead having won the first match and this basically already is a uh um brain freeze uh, this is a a, a game deciding match already if Jay manages to take that home um, he will have pushed anti-freak out of the tournament Okay, we have um, early, early, early pressure with minions. Um, Jay is pushing hard with those. Um, on the other hand, we have a very aggressive wall build uh, on Anti Freak side, and he looks to be going directly for the proximity of the core. Yeah, he does, and he's moving in. Um, the thing is in the early game uh, repeater versus hammerhead is a, a, that is going to be a, a, a battle the repeater can't win the early game damage on the hammerhead is insane and the, even with the heal ray he's going to have trouble defending against that especially if the heal ray is not in range he's going to be able to take one more shot oh interesting interesting nice move of the stun there this should be the heal ways death and a lot of experience for the hammerhead level level one now the heal oh this this could prove to be oh he's actually winning the trade the repeater might win that one I'm amazed. 
I wouldn't have expected that. And the mass production is coming in a lot of minutes. Why, why did you move him there? I, I think he would have easily won the trade. But the minions already coming in. The Boo Blaster this time is in a very good position. Um, doing, doing damage to the minions already. And you'll have no trouble. Uh, even with the, the Stingers coming in. He won't have trouble. Oh, the minion limit is already starting. And just against the tank bomb, it probably will be pretty easy to advance this minion line uh, unless Anti Freak is uh, defending properly uh, and putting at least two, maybe even three towers to defend. Oh, nice, mo nice move there, moving in on the upgrading hammerhead. Thing is, though. Uh, the repeater doesn't have enough damage right now to properly finish him off. Um, oh, this is gonna be very close, very close. And he's he's gone. He's gone. Interesting, very interesting. He's gotta rebuild that heal ray though. That is hasn't been on the field for at least two minutes. Um, and the minions are advancing. It might prove difficult to uh, push back that entire line of minions with just the tank bomb because it's it hasn't got the the, the fastest spawn speed he's it makes sense for anti freak to upgrade that first uh, obviously but still even fully upgraded i think it won't be enough and uh, i think uh, the phasers definitely want to gonna win an early early game trade against the uh, repeater those walls uh, in in Jay's half of the map will continue to be a nuisance if he if he doesn't uh, clear them as quickly as possible. I should. This is an interesting interesting moment now. Um, the the. Repeater should probably be uh, killing that wall down there. Right now, it's just standing there doing nothing. And that way. Oh, now the wall building timing is very interesting. He should go. Yeah, that was a nice move. Going for the upper one. He could have. He could have built. Uh, built one where he just destroyed the other one uh, to the right. Uh, but he he chose to go for the upper one because he knew that. Um, Anti Freak wasn't in range uh, to put one down there, uh, so he's definitely gone for the right one. And he definitely has a range mod in place because it's level 2 and the repeater already, already has a huge range advantage. This could prove so important against the, the Hammerhead right now. And the last shot on the... Oh, this is gonna be so close. One more shot. One more shot on the, on the phaser and it's gone. Stinger for the kill going in nice and the repeater is doing work against the hammerhead this range advantage two versus one uh, getting to that level too early this is such a huge advantage now he has to retrieve his hammerhead and uh, rebuild both uh, the phaser still yeah it, it looks kind of even at the moment um, it's very this is a very interesting game right now I have I have trouble uh, uh, seeing where where we, uh, we could have an uh, advantage and who's coming up ahead I can see both uh, both winning this game. He could. Oh no, she. He should uh, put the repeater uh, down uh, to the left and bottom, so he can exactly there, so he can attack the hammerhead or attack that um, that one wall, so he can uh, get to the point where he can shoot over the the. He, he will win that fight. He has doesn't have to be afraid uh, of a. Of a sniper, especially as as he's got the heat ray to accompany it. 
This is the trade. If he moves in the heal ray now, this is the trade he'll win. Yeah, it is. And once he's got that wall down, uh, this this uh, block of walls is basically gonna be a, an impenetrable fortress. He won't be able to do shit. The only unit that gets across the minion gap will be the sniper and uh, a one-on-one -on -one battle between sniper and repeater is definitely gonna, gonna go in repeater's favor, especially with the heal ray and the backline. On the other hand, though, uh, this time uh, the rockets aren't doing that much work. They are basically just XP fodder for the phaser and the boom blaster. And this time uh, the XP uh, is fairly evenly distributed. Both have uh, repeaters level 4, uh, and the other ones are a bit less, but uh, we have a, a bit, yeah, between level 2 and 3 on uh, Eta Freaks units. So that was a nice, uh, nice wall build there. And now he should move. Uh, he should move the the repeater forward, so he can attack the sniper. He has 15 seconds. That should be enough to kill it. Go there now. 10 seconds. That's still enough. Ah. Or an upgrade. Why not? That was the the movement speed upgrade to level uh, to level two, so he can. Um, level up damage and uh, mm. attack speed further mm. at this point it might even make sense for um, for jade to not spawn in minions at the moment uh, and rather upgrade them because they will die anyway um, and just give xp to uh... ah that that shield was very nice though and he's got a huge wave coming in. Both uh, Sniper and Hammerhead won't be enough to kill that wave. That wave is so, so huge. Uh, this is going to put damage to the core, I'm sure. If he doesn't move all his towers back now, uh, this is going to mean a lot of damage. On the other hand, the tank bomb already is pretty tanky. Oh, and that was a very mean explosion. Oh my god. That was very mean. Killed the entire wave, basically. Actually, the tank bomb is a way better counter than I, than I thought. Um, it's doing work. It's doing a lot of work. Especially for the combination of both saw blade and rocket. Uh, the tank, tank bomb is a, a nice counter. And we have the trade that the repeater is definitely gonna win, even without the hero in place. Yeah. And we're in the same position. The repeater is leveling slowly but steadily. That is, that is nice movement there. And nice use of the far side. Uh, Especially um, for both, uh, for both sniper and hammerhead, uh, farsight is a very nice ability, as it gives uh, gives you a twenty five uh, percent. Uh, all the units revealed by farsight take uh, twenty five percent more damage, and especially for those units like sniper and hammerhead uh, that he's upgrading at the moment, especially those uh, units that do a lot of damage uh, in a very short time, bursting with a single shot. Um, Especially those are um, very, very nice uh, in combination with the far side. Very strong, strong combo. That is something I wouldn't have done in Jay's uh, if I would have been in Jay. Um, upgrading the repeater now, it, of course it does make sense, but on the other hand, he could have used that timing um, to destroy the phaser or maybe uh, do damage to the Boom Blaster. It's a very, very interesting game. Uh, minions basically are not that important this game. 
they might be so later but at the moment spawning minions doesn't really do damage to uh, doesn't do damage to the core to the enemy uh, towers because he's got no ranged ones um, that stun might have might have been the deciding factor in that trade oh but we have oh we have a, a shield and now all of this he he, <laughs> he will just push back all the towers uh, from the from the uh, minion gap and <laughs> i like <laughs> it's actually a very very beautiful uh, beautiful wall build there we have two big huge blocks of walls all symmetric and the funny thing is we have that uh, and still have one aggressive tower on j side and four uh, on anti-freak side it's funny that it developed that way okay the boom blaster definitely is gone uh, you can't do shit against that um, if the he ray was moving in he could Oh, and spawning that huge wave now also is a very, very good idea because he can't defend right now. He can't properly defend. Uh, oh, that that stun might might even mean that the boom blast is going to get away. No, we won't. Very interesting game. Very interesting game. Still, I have uh, I have no idea who's gonna win that. No idea. Uh, the repeater might be a win condition, as well as the f the stinger might be. Uh, the stinger is already fully upgraded. I didn't even notice that. That is amazing. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. Right now it looks it looks like uh, he could be moving in with a repeater as well. One more shot and the phaser is down. And now the repeater is gonna advance. Oh, this is so exciting. And so hard. It's so hard to see it all. Uh, that stun was very nice. That is... Uh, the movement speed on the repeater should be quick enough though. Oh, nice shield there. Very nice shield. And nice movement. He can still hit the hammerhead while the hammerhead can't hit him. Oh, close, close, but no cigar. And the stingers will will soon be in range to hit the hammerhead. Funny thing, that is very, very interesting. Uh, anti freak has got the sniper, but still all that Jay does uh, is use his range. He re uses the range to his advantage um, with a tower that has less range uh, than, th than the sniper does. Uh, that's, that's very interesting. Oh, the hammerhead is down. Yeah, nice kill for the stinger. Stinger's level seven already. Oh, that that minion is gonna gonna do a whole lot. That was a very nice pick actually to take that away from uh, Antifa Freak. Very exciting game game again. Um, I'm amazed. I, I like the first one, but uh, this one is very good as well. And uh, to be honest, I am surprised. I haven't uh, seen uh, Jay play before, um, but uh, he's a strong competitor. Oh no, all these minions are gonna die because of the tank explosion. They not even killed the, la the second one. And those are gonna die too. Right now though, 
we have a we, we still have a sort of evil uh, e evil equal distribution of uh, experience between both uh, players we have around four to six uh, on net Africa side and uh, two level eight uh, um, units on on j side which is uh, probably about an equal amount of xp gained the walls don't look as beautiful as before. <laughs> my my beautiful symmetric uh, blocky wall build is gone, but um, the action uh, has become more interesting now. Oh, that is very uh, that is dangerous now though. Um, if he's moving in with a with a hammerhead, no, he can't. He can't get in range with a hammerhead. That is. That is very well, very well played um, on Jay's part. Um, uh, missed the explode there closely, but he won't have to because he's got the the sniper, uh, the repeater, which is doing a shitload of work. And the thing is, um, Antifreak has to uh, regularly uh, retreat his towers uh, to defend against the minions. And during that time, the repeater will stay, do damage, uh, create chaos, and um, the thing is, uh, even though uh, the tank bomb, uh, if it dies, kills a lot of minions, the thing is, it doesn't do any damage to the stinger. So uh, if the stingers attack some, uh, something else, they're in place for ages and, and just kill and kill and kill. And do and do damage, uh, get XP. They just get stronger. So I, I thought in the beginning that the tank bomb was a, a nice counter, uh, but as we're farther farther ahead in the game now, I think it probably wasn't the best choice. Something like, yeah, uh, explosions like that are nice, uh, obviously, but still I think something like the deflector would have been better. Uh, because it would have at least uh, made some damage, done done some damage to to the stingers. Oh no! Now he's moving in. We have a fight for the core. This could this could be the game. The repeater is, is so far ahead. It's level 11. Oh, and we have a surrender coming in. We the second uh, second qualification match is decided. We have all four participants for the tournament. We're all set. <laughs>